In a world of contagion, you are one of eight soul survivors trying to stay alive by any means necessary. On the other hand, never fear death. It's just another beginning. All of our detailed environments are randomly generated before a round begins, allowing for a fresh experience each playthrough. Some modes are larger than others and may require quite a few playthroughs to complete each scenario. And with our unique pathing, weapons locker, ammo, AI, and player spawns, each new game brings its own surprises. This gives new players just as fair a chance of finding their favorite weapon as any veteran. In the escape game mode, you will need to complete a series of randomly generated objectives in order to survive. And don't forget to keep your smartphone close. You'll need it to track your progress and help locate your next objective. Remember that teamwork is crucial, so be sure to cover each other if you hope to escape alive. In extraction mode, your key to survival is more than just saving your own skin. Here your goal is to coordinate with your team, find a civilians unable to evacuate, secure their location until help arrives, and finally, escort them to safety. Your smartphone this time is even more valuable as a GPS mapping both your team's location and where the next set of unarmed civvies are to be found. And if used right, it will buy you valuable time needed to barricade and find ammo, as well as alerting you when it's safe to extract them. As the world succumbs to chaos, our players must do anything they can to survive in this next game mode. Hunted is a PvP free-for-all with a catch. Take care not to make too much noise and to draw too much attention to yourself. Why? Because it is not just the zombies that you should do. With our detailed sound system, you'll need to keep your senses sharp and your actions swift yet calculated. With every gunshot or footfall, leap to safety or door open, every sound you make can attract unwanted attention. Maybe you believe, as the undead rampage, you can wait it out or persuade other survivors to work with you till the enemy is destroyed. But who's covering the rear? And can you really trust them? Or are you a lone hunter who enjoys tracking prey and at the most opportune moment, taking them down? If you have a melee weapon and can catch a zombie off guard, you might be in luck. Sneak up on them, and as long as they're not aware of your presence, you can take down that walking corpse without attracting other undead, or sometimes survivors on the hunt for your position. And when you take out a zombie, please be sure he's down for the count, because what does a lost limb or two matter to the undead? Either way, good luck and good hunting. But knowing your game modes isn't enough. There are both deadly zombies out there and other surprises you'll need to avoid if you want to get out alive. Whenever possible, save on ammunition. Bullets do not grow on trees or inside boxes or other random objects, no matter what the media would have you believe. And whether you are low on ammo or just conserving resources, don't forget that not every battle can be won with a bullet. Use your surroundings, like the shadows, to distract your enemies. But be wary, not all zombies are easily distracted. Player-controlled zombies can blend in perfectly with a hungry horde, just waiting for the right moment to demolish your false sense of security. Lose track of your group, did you? All alone? Careful then, not only are you stuck dealing with any leftovers, but this is what every player-controlled zombie has been waiting for. With no one there to help, a player zombie can easily catch and grapple you, sinking their teeth deep into your flesh. If you manage to survive and get away, are you now infected?
Well, as we said before, death is just another start. You still have friends. Use your roar ability to summon other zombies nearby. This works best when attempting to assault a fortified location. And that's it. You are now prepared for the zombie apocalypse.